On Monday, Texas, Ohio, and other states prepare to reopen their economies despite the fact that reported U.S. coronavirus cases are close to 1 million. The U.S. oil plunged 25% and Brent fell below $20 a barrel. The Swiss National Bank stepped up its forex purchases again. New Zealand claimed elimination of coronavirus with new cases in single digits in the country, but the Bank of Japan expanded monetary stimulus as the pandemic pain gets worse. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. And Tuesday, we'll be eyeing the CB consumer confidence from the US and Australia's inflation rate. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie yen pair that broke above the daily Ichimoku cloud last week and is now on its pullback mode towards the upper band of the Ichimoku cloud. The Ichimoku system suggests this pullback towards 68 to be a buying potential for medium term investors. Potential profit taking ideas are at the Fibonacci tracement levels at 71 and 74. This is, of course, if the inflation rate tomorrow doesn't trigger the bears. Do you think the Aussie yen pair will continue its gains? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tick Mill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.